Hello and welcome to another video. Apologies for my voice. I have a cold. It's not good. No, I'm fine. But that is why my voice is getting weird in this video. I, oh my God, it's going already. I wanted to film a video for tomorrow. It was meant to be a body shop video, but I haven't got around to filming that because I wanted to do my makeup for that. And I wanted to get a video up tomorrow, 10 a.m. if I can do. And basically, I don't have any makeup on, so I'm just gonna film me making spaghetti bolognese today. Maybe some days it will be quite nice for me to actually just film some, not recipes, but just film something that I'm cooking. Today, we're gonna start off simple with some spaghetti bolognese. So these are like my initial ingredients. Yes, I do apologize, my voice is going. But yeah, we're gonna start off. So basically, I have some mushrooms in here, chestnut mushrooms. We've got some courgette. I think my mum is growing this in her garden, or maybe that was my nana's. I can't remember which one. But I know both of them are growing courgettes. Then we've got garlic, onion, orange pepper, tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, minced meat because it's spaghetti bolognese. Um, I've got this, oh my God, this vintage cheese. I love this, this is the best ever from Tesco's. Yeah, I really love that. So I would highly recommend if you like cheese like me. Olive oil and spaghetti. And then coming over here a little bit later on, we'll be adding some of these things in just to flavor up the spaghetti bolognese. I actually add some of this chili con carne powder in, even though it's spaghetti bolognese, but you know, we do what we wanna do. Some pepper and some salt. A little bit of sugar just to sweeten it that little bit and then some balsamic vinegar just the smallest amount the first thing that i'm gonna do is get my mincemeat put it in a pan i do it in two separate pans because jamie doesn't have all the vegetables that i have i kind of have less spaghetti so that i have more vegetables that's what i do and especially today because i did have pasta for lunch so i'm not as bothered about spaghetti but i'm gonna do them in two separate pans weighing it out because i still do my calorie counting roughly and then I'm gonna start chopping my vegetables. I would just do a little update as to what's going on. I have chopped up my vegetables and my meat and everything is in the pan. I maybe did burn the minced meat a tad, like a small amount. I'm fine with that. So my vegetables and everything's cooking. Look at the difference between mine and Jamie's already. I haven't added my sauce in, but his is here and mine is there. His has no vegetables in it, mine has vegetables in it. I just weighed out 40 grams of pasta now and I weighed Jamie's out separately because I have separate amounts. I'm gonna start cooking that. I've also preheated the oven because I'm gonna put some garlic bread in in a second. Now, the reason why I had 40 grams, which is actually quite a low amount to have, is because I have got a lot of vegetables and also I had pasta for lunch. Apologies for the sound of the kettle, but yeah, I had pasta for lunch, so I thought that I would just have more vegetables and less pasta in this meal, and then I can have some garlic bread. So that's what I'm doing. So that's why that's a low amount. The recommended amount from the government is 70 grams. Usually I will have 60. So you can do whatever you want with that if you are gonna make spaghetti bolognese. But yeah, I'm just cooking all of my vegetables and everything now. And then I'm gonna add some of the pasta sauce. This is the pasta sauce that I'm using. It's just from Lidl. It's the tomato and herb 
pasta sauce and I just pop a quarter of a jar of this into my little concoction and then I'll add some water as well just so that it's not like too thick. Always add water, it will just evaporate away if you add too much so you can't add too much water unless you absolutely flood it. But anyway, I'm just gonna crack on now and I will update you in a few minutes. So I have added in the sauce, I've also added in all of like the spices, salt, pepper, sugar, everything like that that I showed you before, balsamic vinegar. Didn't think that I needed to show you me just placing them in, but yeah, look at that. I actually think that looks so good. It looks like quite a lot, which it is, but it's because the entire thing is bulked out with vegetables, which I will speak about in a second. And then this one is Jamie's, which is pure bolognese and sauce, no vegetables, so you can compare the difference between them. And then the spaghetti is nearly done. And I also have garlic bread in the oven cooking right now. So I'm just gonna set out like my bowls and plates and everything and get everything ready. I'll just close the door in case someone's listening to me. But this is a prime example of how like in your meals you should bulk out the majority of the meal with vegetables. I will get really full with what I've eaten and it will be less carbs and less calories than if I had more spaghetti. You will think you will think if you have a meal and you just had the meat and sauce or just the sauce, I need a lot of spaghetti to fill me up. Whereas I, what you should be doing is having a lot more vegetables so that, that is what fills you up and also it's nutritious, it's good for you and you're not consuming like wasted calories. I'm still having spaghetti i'm still having my carbs but just not as many and also i would usually have a bit more than 40 grams but it's because i have pasta for lunch so i'm happy to have that and it's a good portion size and it's less calories and it's healthier so just bear in mind that sometimes it is best to consider bulking out your meals with vegetables if that's something that you can do for example if you're making a curry add loads of vegetables to it not just chicken and the actual sauce you know do things like that and I've incorporated a variety of different vegetables, not just broccoli or not just mushrooms, like as well as everything in there. So just thought I would mention that. Oh, also I am just gonna quickly grate some cheese to pop on top because I need cheese. I need cheese. I just grated 20 grams of that cheese, which this here is 80 calories on its own. Like, can you see how things can easily add up when you're eating things? So I think things like cheese are good to weigh out. Cheese, butter, oil, everything like that. Right, this is Jamie's and this one's mine. As you can see, my vegetables have overflowed the entire thing. There's like barely any spaghetti because I obviously added less spaghetti. And my vegetables have fallen off the plate. Uh-oh, and two slices, of, two pieces of garlic bread. So yeah, and I added my cheese on. Finish. So it's a few hours later. By the way, my nose is red from blowing it with tissues. But it is a, f a couple of hours later I did eat it and it actually tasted so good. Like it tasted better than normal. I don't know why, but it just did. Um, I did leave a little bit of it, but you can see the difference in portion sizes when you add loads of vegetables to things and you don't chop them up really, really small. Just chop them up quite chunky because then you feel like you're eating more. So that was good. I really liked that. So I would recommend, I would rate that meal a nine out of 10. A nine out of 10, definitely. It worked out to be just over 600 calories, which is a higher calorie amount than what I would normally have for a meal. And that's absolutely fine. I think today I'm not in a deficit from what I'm eating. I'm probably at maintenance calories, which is fine. Not every day can be a day in a deficit and it's not healthy to be in a deficit every single day. But yeah, I think what pushed me over the edge was probably the garlic bread, but who cares, I had some garlic bread and I don't have any more left anyway. So yeah, I had two pieces of garlic bread. And also if I didn't have the garlic bread and I didn't have the cheese, the meal would be at just over 400 calories. So it does make a difference, those items. Like if you did want it to be a lower calorie meal, then just take away the cheese or use 50% less, less fat cheese and then take away the garlic bread and you'd be still really full. I just fancied some garlic bread, okay? Because the garlic bread, two pieces of that was 150 calories together, which is quite a lot. But anyway, so I am now going to end this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Up. sorry for my voice being going but 
we're getting better and um, please subscribe for more videos and i will see you on sunday for a new video bye bye